and a special thanks and shout out to Community Ford Lincoln of Bloomington, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2018 Lincoln Navigator L Black Label. Hello everyone, today we are taking a detailed, in-depth walk-around look at the brand new 2018 Lincoln Navigator L Black Label. This Navigator is shown in black velvet and features a chalet themed cappuccino and espresso premium Venetian leather interior. This Navigator is four-wheel drive, features a automatic full-time four-wheel drive system with a two-speed Borg Warner 4417 transfer case. It works in conjunction with the Lincoln Drive Mode Selector with variable adjustments to the suspension, steering, engine, and transmission for the mode selected. It is powered by the same 3.5 liter high output EcoBoost V6 engine that is in the Ford F-150 Raptor, and it creates 450 horsepower at 5,000 RPM 510 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 RPM. It is good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 5.6 seconds, with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 15.1 seconds. Quarter mile is reached in 14 seconds at approximately 90 miles per hour, with the top speed limited to 115 miles per hour. The sole available transmission is a 10-speed 10 10R80 10 select shift automatic with dash mounted rocker switch style buttons and a manual shift paddles mounted to the steering wheel. Since its initial 1998 introduction, the Lincoln Navigator has undergone several changes throughout its life cycle, each based on an upgraded version of the Ford Expedition and Expedition EL. Around the rear of the Navigator, styling cues from the new Continental are present with a large LED full-width tail lamps and chrome accents with the Lincoln badging, badging proudly displayed across the top of the chrome accent. All lighting on the Navigator is LED, and Lincoln claims that this is the only vehicle in its class to have 100% LED illumination inside and out. 
and are designed to last the lifetime of the vehicle. Wheels on this Navigator are enormous. It is equipped with the 22 by 8.5 inch 6 spoke ultra bright machined aluminum wheels with satin painted pockets. Tires are hand cooked Dynapro HD and measure 285-45 R22. The Navigator L overall length measures in at 223.3 inches. While the Navigator is not the longest vehicle made by the company, that goes to the 1979 Continentals at 233 inches. The Navigator is the heaviest, weighing in at 6,239 pounds. Maximum towing capacity on the Navigator is 8,100 pounds and features a maximum payload of 1,650 pounds. First introduced at the 2016 New York International Auto Show in March of 2016, the new Navigator was shown in concept form with much of the exterior styling carrying over to the production vehicle, minus the extravagant gullwing doors and retractable stair-step running boards. The production version does, however, retain the power retracting running boards. Chrome accented side view mirrors are heated in auto dimming and contain LED turn repeaters, as well as the blind spot monitors with lane keep assist sensors. Around the front, the Navigator takes on the new Lincoln face that is appearing on all new Lincolns, starting with the Continental. Large, impressive chrome Lincoln Star mesh waterfall grille with illuminated star logo dominate the front, accented by the high intensity LED headlamps. They feature the signature double L shaped LED driving lights and also have LED turn indicators. And this vehicle is equipped with a remote start. To operate is simple, first you need to lock the vehicle doors, then double press the remote start button on the key fob. And naturally this vehicle is equipped with a smart key access system. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock the door, simply locate the rib portion on top of the door handle. The mirrors will fold in, the horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handle as you would open it. And as you can see upon opening the doors you do have the power deployable running boards. And by closing the vehicle doors the running boards automatically retract. And inside you can see exquisite craftsmanship and attention to detail with genuine le leather surfaces covering the tops of the doors and the armrest. You've also got accent stitching and this vehicle is equipped with the 20-speaker Revel Ultima Quantum Logic Surround Sound. It does feature power-heated, power-fold-away mirrors with automatic dimming feature. And of course you have power windows and power door locks. Recessed door handles within the armrest. Silverwood accents. You've also got the black label tread plate which is illuminated. On the dash panel you have your fog lamp control, automatic headlamp controls, instrument panel brightness and dim, rear hatch release, and power adjustable pedals. And the leather wrapped steering wheel is also power tilt and telescoping. The new seats of Lincoln are very, very nice, very well built. They're inspired by personal aircraft and feature multi-adjustments, as we'll demonstrate here in a minute. Features the Dynamica suede piping, as well as the Lincoln Star perforations. The seats are very comfortable and very supportive. And here's a quick demonstration of the power seats in operation. Seats are the perfect position seats with 30-way power adjustments. Major adjustments can be made with the controls on the door panels with multi-bolster adjustments made in the center screen. They are heated and ventilated and also feature the active motion massage feature. Quick look at the instrument panel and the wood trim with the chrome. Just exquisite craftsmanship inside the vehicle. All right, pan through the interior and we're going to show more details. As you can see, nice fluid electric power assist steering. Three spoke steering wheel is completely le leather covered with metal accents as well as a silver wood trim. And you've got your audio controls as well as your cruise controls. This vehicle does feature the SYNC 3 UK, or voice commands. 
You've also got multifunction controls for the reconfigurable instrument cluster. It's a completely LCD display. Here's just a quick look at the different menus within the instrument cluster. There's so many that it would take a long time to go through them all, but here's just a quick glance at what's available. And it is sped up to conserve time. And this vehicle is also equipped with a heads-up display. It features DLP imaging. All the controls are done through the instrument cluster, but as you can see here, most of the major adjustments are used by actually looking at the heads-up display. So you have various brightness. You can also change your position up and down, as well as the tilt. There's also adjustments for what can be shown on the display as well. Top of the dash is leather wrapped, aluminum finish start stop button, as well as your trailer control. The floating touchscreen display. It's a pretty intuitive system. The Sync 3 system is actually really a nice system. Takes um, styling cues from the Uconnect system with a dock at the bottom, which features most used commands. And then you have a nice scrolling menu. Here you can change your ambient lighting, various different colors as well as a slider for brightness. And here are your seat adjustments. And here are the bolster adjustments here. You'll see the ones that are highlighted. You can adjust those various ways for driver and passenger. And the next page features all the massage features for the driver and passenger. By placing the vehicle in reverse it activates the reverse cameras. They do feature active guidance lines with the steering wheel. You've also got a 360 degree top down view. Another nice feature is you can expand your camera views as well as change your positioning. Here's your transmission selector integrated into the dash panel. And you have redundant controls for climate and as well as audio controls, heated and ventilated seat controls. The silverwood accents continue down the center console. It is a floating console with storage underneath. And inside you have two USB charge ports, a wireless charging mat, and some storage. And of course it is illuminated. On the right hand side you have dual cup holders with a small storage tray. The cup holders are also illuminated. You have your electronic parking brake and your drive mode selector with various driver controls. Two floating center armrests which are leather covered with accent stitching. The entire lid however lifts up, they're not individual. It is a nice deep felt line storage unit with a removable liner. You've also got a single disc CD player inside. Overhead you have a frameless inside rear view mirror which automatically dims. You've also got a 3 channel Homelink Universal Garage Door Opener on this driver's side sun visor. And overhead you have LED illumination, power sunroof controls, as well as your panorama sunroof control shades, shade controls. You have a small parabolic mirror for interior observation, as well as sunglasses holder. Sun visors are large and they feature LED illuminated vanity mirrors. The LED illumination is actually really nice. Sun visors do extend out.
All right, let's take a look at the second row seat. Of course, this vehicle does feature three rows of seating. As you can see, even in the rear seat area, attention to detail is just as nice as it is up front. You have your satin silver perforated radio speaker casings. This vehicle does feature the rear seat entertainment system. It has two, two bucket seats in the middle row seat. They are fully adjustable fore and aft as well as back backrest recline. The Lincoln Star perforations and the Dynamica suede piping continue in the rear. These rear seat units are also heated. Take a look at the middle console. You do have illuminated cup holders, gloss black piano trim. You've also got rear audio controls with a display screen. Turn it on and off as well as change your radio stations and volume. You have the same twin floating armrests that open up as one unit. And inside you have two wireless headphones with individual remote controls. Rear control panel features the power window shades, as well as climate controls, heated seat controls. It is a fully independent climate control for the rear, so it is a three-zone climate system. Temperature readouts, as well as fan speed readouts on the dials, and you've also got your ventilation positions. Multiple power points. Two USB charge ports. You've also got a 12-volt socket and 110 volt power point. You've also got floor mounted cup holders as well. Quick look at the rear screens. These are not touch screens. You actually have to use the control panel at the bottom of the screen in order to go through it or the remote controls will also help with that. Various different function settings as well as audio settings and video settings. They've also got USB charge ports on the side as well as HDMI inputs and SD card inputs. Overhead air vents, leather wrap grab handles and LED illumination. Getting access to the third row is easy. Just pressing a button and the entire seat back will lift up. One handed motion will gain access to the third row seat. And the third row does seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with height restraints on all passenger seating areas as well as three-point belts. The Lincoln Star perforations continue in the back as well as the Dynamica suede piping. Third row seat is just as comfortable as the second row and the first row. There is no center fold-down armrest, however. But rear seat passengers do have plenty of storage in the molded trays, USB charge ports, cup holders, as well as their power seat recline switches. And overhead, they do have ventilation controls as well as LED lighting.
All right, opening the rear lift gate is easy. Just double press the lift gate button on the key fob. And take a look inside. The luggage area is very nice and spacious. Luggage dimensions and capacities are mentioned later on. You do have a couple tie-down hooks and grocery bag hooks, as well as LED illumination. 12-volt power point, as well as some storage pockets. Another grocery bag hook on the left-hand side, as well as your power seat controls for the third row folding and the second row folding. Underneath the floor mat, you do have a couple of molded storage trays. And it does open up again to reveal another storage tray, as well as a cargo net that's still in the plastic bag. Underneath this panel, you do have your jack and tools, as well as your fuel filler helper for gas cans. And now we're going to mention cargo capacities for the luggage area. Luggage capacity for the Navigator L is enormous, as one would expect. With the seats all upright, total cargo capacity is 36 cubic feet. With the third row seats folded, capacity is increased to 79.6 cubic feet. As you can see, you do have a nice load flat floor. Easy access to tie down hooks. The button to lower the third or second row seat. And even more with the second row seats folded, total cargo capacity with all seats folded is 120.3 cubic feet. And as one can see, the Navigator is a very spacious vehicle. To close the lift gate is easy. There's a button in the trim panel. Just press it. Alrighty, and this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the brand new 2018 Lincoln Navigator L. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.